coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your midday news brief. The post-mortem for Carnival 2019 is scheduled to begin this week as the government of St. Lucia places focus on the development of regulations and licensing for Carnival 2019. The two-day street parade of live bands welcomed a number of new bands including Zuvo, which was the biggest band. Minister in the Ministry of Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries, with responsibility for culture and creative industries, Senator Honorable Fortuna Bell Rose, stated that the Carnival Zone has been expanded and highlighted the importance of setting regulations due to the increase in visitors coming to experience St. Lucia Carnival. Senator Bell Rose encouraged the organizers and executive members of the bands to educate their members on the regulations and rules as it relates to Carnival. The Ministry of Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development would like to inform parents and guardians of all students who wrote the 2019 Common Entrance Examination to note that collection of checks for the $500 bursary assistance will be conducted during the period July 30th to August 7th, 2019 from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. daily at the respective schools. Parents are requested to bring along a valid form of identification to collect the check. The government of St. Lucia has been making improvements to the Urge playing field and is looking forward to the commencement of the comprehensive rehabilitation of the Deriso playing field. The St. Lucia National Commission for UNESCO recently has engaged teachers, ASPNet coordinators, students and the youth across St. Lucia in a three-day workshop on the UNESCO Sandwatch project. The UNESCO Sandwatch project seeks to reduce the levels of pollution in the Caribbean Sea. It will provide water testing kits and training manuals to all schools in St. Lucia, provide training in scientific observation of beaches through field measurements and data analysis, and assist communities to use the data collectors to better manage beaches within their communities. Acting Director of Innovation within the Department of Education, Linnell Malze, says ultimately the project will help to identify and evaluate threats facing the coastal environments and develop sustainable approaches to addressing those threats. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.